two pound for pound elite level fighters. And guess what? They're not in a heavyweight division. I don't even fuck about heavyweights. Pro boxing fans here in Westfield with George Groves. George, this place reminds me a lot about you uh, when you fought Carl Froch. The second time you had, I think you'll work out here, right? Yeah, public work out here, probably nine years ago now. Yeah, place ain't changed, a couple of different shops. I think, I think Apple's moved from downstairs to upstairs the same, but other than that, all good. That was the first UK fight I covered, that's the first fight I covered, that was like that fight anyway. Uh, but let's talk about the way in. Anthony Joshua, Hellenius, was a bit spicy that one. Yeah, there were some words at the end, I think it was Joshua saying to Hellenius, like, don't you like me or something like that. Um, but yeah, it, I mean, interesting enough. Uh, pressure's on Joshua in, he's got to go out and do a job, do it well. Um, Hellenius got blasted out in a round last year against White, uh, Wilder, so yeah, you know, change of opponent, pressure's on, they're talking about the Wilder fight again like they did before he boxed uh, Rui, so can't mess it up this time, he's going to have to go out there and, and do, a, do a serious job, but I think he will, he looks in good shape, you know, he's got a good team behind him, um, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. As much as getting the win, is the performance the biggest factor in this fight? Does he need to put on the performance, maybe get that knockout? Because a lot of people are saying that old AJ, that ruthless AJ, is just not there no more. Uh, no, I think it will be. I think you know he can make he can make the improvements uh, under Derek James. I want to see an improved uh, Andy Joshua. Um, and we, might, we should see that unless he gets rid of him in literally 30 seconds. But if it goes a few rounds, then I want to see some improvements. What do you make of the Wilder fight, AJ Wilder? A lot of uh, smiles when I when mentioned that name. What happens in that fight? We know what Wilder's done against Hellenius. We still see AJ versus Hellenius, but what happens in that fight in January? Yeah, I think he wins. He, um... yeah, I mean, we see we see we see what Joshua's about this weekend. But it's an exciting fight. It's exciting. Fight. They both got punch power where they can get rid of the guy in front of them. Um... For no belts, so you know it's still it's still interesting. It's still a good fight. It may go wait till next year, so that feels like a long time away. Well, what do you make of the heavy, heavyweight division right now? Obviously, first of all, we won't talk about Dillian White. What do you make of that black stain that we've had on the sport once again? Dillian White, you findings, the adverse findings on his drug test. What, what do you make of that situation right now? Not ideal. It's bad for boxing, but I'm hoping that uh, we can park that. You know, Andy Joshua, biggest biggest name in. British boxing, he's never had a positive test, you know, so if you're a professional then you don't, you, you know, you're clean, you've got integrity and be sensible, fucking don't have any mistakes, um, but yeah, it's, it's not great for, it's not great for the sport, but it's what it is, isn't it, it's what it is, and we, we've still got a show this weekend, which I think is good, and um, you know, it's great, it's great for everyone involved in boxing who works hard and you only get paid when the, sh when the fights happen, when the shows happen. So it's good for the broadcast, good for the, the promoters, the, the fighters, but even, you know, the trainers, the, the backroom guys, everyone. So, no, it's good. I mean, uh, I'm happy that the show's taking place. How important is it that we see the Fury, the Usyks, the Joshua's, the Wilders mix it up before they all retire? They're not, they've not got many years left be be between them and, you know, there's a couple of fights probably left on all of them. Or what, yeah, well, how important is that right now? Well, yeah, well, I mean, Wilder and Fury have fought three times. Joshua and Usyk fought twice. They are fighting each other. We should like to see one definitive champion, I'm sure. Um, so at the moment, it just means Usyk beat the uh, Fury. Um, if that fight can get made, brilliant. Um, and it sounds like, for the fans, uh, Joshua and um, Wilder's getting made. Good fight on paper. So I think, I think we'll get there. But at the end of the day, there's still plenty of boxing. We had Errol Spence fight Terence Crawford last week. With two fucking elite level fighters, two pound for pound elite level fighters. And guess what? They're not in a heavyweight division. I mean, we fuck about heavyweights. This week's heavyweights, some heavyweights for good, some heavyweights not. There's more to, more to boxing than heavyweight boxing, so I wouldn't be too fussed. Boxing will survive and thrive regardless. Um, there's a lot of good fights out there, you just gotta look for them. Pushing me into my next question Terence Crawford, after that performance against Errol Spence, is he number one for you pound for pound in that list? Yeah, I think so, because of the division he's in. The new way, obviously, great performance gains um, fought in the week before. But, yeah, just because they weren't weights, I mean, it was a spectacular performance from Crawford. Almost punch perfect. Um, he's the man, isn't he? He's got to be the man. 
Uh, just a quick few fights I want to talk to you about. Canelo, Charlo, how do you see that fight playing out? Yeah, great. I, think, I mean, I'm not sure yet. I think, I think you've got to go with what be... It's tough to go against Canelo. Naturally, bigger, been at this weight a lot longer. Um, but who knows? Maybe, maybe the Charlo team knows something we don't. That's why they made the fight. Um, of course, to win. But we've seen fighters move up and come unstuck. So I think, I think Alvarez wins. Liam Smith, Chris Eubank Jr. rematch. Does it go the same way or does Chris win this time? I'm working at night by all accounts, so I'm going to leave uh, leave it with, uh, ooh, I don't know yet. Don't know. George Joyce versus Gilles Zhang, part two. What happens in that one? Sorry, which one? George Joyce versus Gilles Zhang. Uh, I'd like to see an improved or a better performance from Joyce. Joyce was really slow and sitting duck and target practice for, for Zhang last time. If he can be a little bit quicker, then he should do a lot better. Um, I think I think we will see a, a better Joyce and I think Joyce beats him in the rematch. I hope so anyway. Final one, Daniel Dubois going over to Poland to fight Alexander Usyk. Is he a tough ask or does he have a puncher's chance? It's a puncher's chance. Uh, other than that, it's an impossible ask. Uh, Usyk, best heavyweight in the world right now. Um, don't think Dubois has the boxing ability to, to compete, but Dubois punches ridiculously hard so if he lands then maybe but yeah it's just a punch of chance George Groves always a pleasure to talk to yourself so I'll see you on fight night are you going to be there no doubt I'll see you on fight night thank you very much for talking to Pro Boxer Band thank, thank you, you. Cheers.